Welcome back to another episode of Chatting with Stacks. I'm your host, Bill Stacks. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you can get my videos every time they drop. I'm back with Anthony Luciano Ramundi, made man with the Colombo crime family. What's up, Anthony? Not too much, not too much. So you said you got a story with Meyer Lansky and... Yeah, Meyer Lansky, a couple guys. Back in 19... uh, After everything was getting done and everything in 1977... My cousins, they opened up an amusement company. It was called the Royal Am Amusement Company. It was on 17th Avenue between 77th Street and the Utrecht Avenue. We had all pinball machines. So what happened, Uncle Danny Thelonity came and he said he had an idea to open up a skating rink and he wanted to call it the United Skates. We would put them all over, Brooklyn, Bronx, Manhattan. Yeah. So what happened, we started putting it together and there was... Actually, the Columbos, there was the Genovese family, and there was the Lucchese family. Now, on our side, there was, you know, us. Maya Lansky was involved in it heavily. My cousin Mac, Alley Boy, and everybody. Yeah. So, there was a guy, uh, Sammy Cash. He was an all-time Jewish gangster who was with Maya Lansky. And Sammy Cash was involved. He would see, like some of the day-to-day uh, business that would go on. And he had a, a, a nephew named Ira. Now, Ira, I want you to give Ira, uh, yeah, it's Uncle Maya. Maya, I'm sorry, Sammy Cash, I'll give you a thing about how big his nephew Ma, uh, his, his nephew was. His nephew's name was Ira. Ira stood about six foot four, a good maybe 420 pounds. The guy wasn't fucking small. You know what I'm saying? I think yeah. the only thing bigger than him was fucking King Kong. <laughs> so Sammy Cash said his his nephew Ivor was very good with the books. He was very good at running businesses. So he says, All right, you know what? We'll give him the territory in Staten Island, let him operate that. Me, meaning me, I'll go up, pick up the envelopes. And you know, I make sure everybody and we divide the money up. The Columbus they were with- there, man. He was with the Genovese family? This guy was with the Genovese? No, 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 no. He was with Sammy Cash, who was his uncle. And Sammy Cash was with Maya Lansky. He was an old-time gangster who's been with Maya Lansky since they were kids. Okay. All right, but this was his nephew. uh, This was his nephew, Ira. Yeah. So they gave Ira the Staten Island Territory and another piece of uh, piece of Brooklyn. I would go around Brooklyn, Bronx, Queens, Staten Island. I would pick up all the money. I bring it down to Third Avenue. We divide it up. Here's a portion for Genovese. Here's another portion here. It goes for the Lucchese's. And the rest is to the Columbos. And no, we all divided. by it got his end. Sammy Cash got an end. I would get an end. Mm-hmm. So the business is going good. So one day I go and I make my pickups. And I go and I see I really hands me the envelopes and I'm talking with him, everything's fine. And I go and I bring the envelopes down to Third Avenue. I give them to my cousin. I says, I'm beating, I'm gonna go home. He says, All right. Calls me about two hours later and says, Come down. I said, All right, I knew something was up. I think come down. I said, he's gonna call me to come down to give me the money. He can drop it off to me my end on the way back to his house. He goes, The envelope is fifteen hundred dollars short. I says, listen, I didn't touch me. He said, all right. He goes, let's see what happens. Following week, now you got to remember, I'm making pickups every three days. So three more pickups go by, no problem. The following week, I bring the envelope down. There were the envelopes, rather. The envelope is 1500 short. These are the envelopes that are coming from Iris, Sammy Cash's nephew. Yeah. So my cousin, now we have to sit down. And it's a nice that basically was me. It was me, Al Boy, my cousin Mac, Maya Lansky was there. And uh they had uh, they had their cousin Fat Andy, Junior's cousin Fat Andy was there. First words out of his mouth was, Oh, how do you know that Anthony ain't taking the fifteen hundred tap in the envelope? You don't know how bad I want to go over the table and rip his fucking throat out. I yeah. never fucking stole from my friends. My cousin says, Give it another week, see what happens. All right, another week goes by. Pickups are made. I'm down 1500 short. So my partner says, something's wrong here. So he says, you know what? He says, next week when you go to make the pickups off him, take baby Gene with you. He says, give the envelopes to baby Gene. 
tell Ivy you got to talk to him about something in the back. Let Baby Jean count the money. If it's 1500 short, he says, you know what to do. So Maya Lansky comes in at the end of us talking, and Maya says, what happened? So we told him. He says, uh, I did. he goes, you got a plan? I said, yes. I, we told him what my cousin Matt said. He says, okay. He says, listen to me. If that envelope is $1,500 short, he says, I want you to break his fucking hands and put him in the hospital. He says, I don't care how big you beat him. You could beat him till he's an inch away from death. He goes, you fucking do it. He goes, you break his fucking hands. It's okay. He says, I'm starting to walk out. I turn around and say, wait a minute, Maya. He says, this is Sammy Cash's nephew. You and Sammy been bombarded over here since you were kids. I says, what the hell? He goes, let me tell you something. He says, he stole from us. I says, Maya, what happens if I kill him? He goes, well, if he dies, he dies. He goes, we'll put somebody else in his place. Yeah. I says, you sure? He goes, you know me. He goes, you got to ask me if I'm sure. I says, all right. He said, but his thing was, he stole from us. That was it. Following week comes, I go up with baby Dean. And uh, I see I get the envelopes off him. He goes, who's that? I say, he's a friend of ours, which meant he was a made guy. So yeah. I, yeah, I says, yeah, Gene, hold these. I said, baby, Gene, hold these. I got to talk to Ira in the back. So I go in the back with Ira to talk to him. I'm telling him about a couple of spots that I've seen that I want to open up. This bullshit that I'm telling him. Baby Gene counts the money. I get done with Ira. I come out and I said, what's up? He goes, it's 1500 short. I said, okay. I said, make the call. I says, and wait for me downstairs. I goes, okay. He made the call down below and he told him. Envelope is 1500 short. He goes, it went from Iris' hand to Anthony, from Anthony to me. It's 1500 short. So I says, yeah. well, Anthony, where's he not? He says, well, he, he's upstairs. So they knew I was going to do what I had to do. Now, I never had to fight a guy that fucking before. Damn, so, the, the, the audio's yeah, messing you, up. Huh? Hold on, the audio's messing up. I can't. You there? Yeah, I can hear, yeah, hear a lot of static. Yeah, it's a lot of static. Would that Hold be on. on my side or your side? Hold on. All right. Am I good? I'm still static. Yeah, I hear you. I know. Damn, man. How about now? Same thing. What about now? I yeah, it's on. It's not. It's on my side. It's over. It's on your side. Fuck. Damn, yeah, man, that was getting. The went on. It was getting so goddamn good, too, man. Wait, maybe because the boiler went on for the heat in the house. Yeah. I right, give it a couple of minutes when it goes off, and then we'll try it again. We'll, I'll pick up from where we left off. Why right. it goes on and shuts off, on and off? Yeah, it goes on and it goes off the uh, boiler. Yeah, because it's for the heat in the house. Damn, man, that was getting so good. Yeah. <laughs> you know why, Bill? Because I'm downstairs and the boiler is like, and I'm in the you know I'm in the basement of the. Of the house, like the boilers, like in the next room. Yeah. yeah I don't know, man. Do you think that's it? Well, that's the only thing I can see because that's the only thing that went on because everything else was going fine. Yeah. Everything else was going good when the boiler went on. Then see, this started going. You got to give it a couple of minutes, then it'll go off. Yeah. Well, uh, you're not in the same space. You, where you at? Your girlfriend's house? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's all doing, different. Doing, uh, what? It's all fucked up. There's a I delay it. too. It's it's what? There's a delay. What do you mean? There's a delay. Like when I talk, I could hear my voice like staticky. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know. It's not because the boiler went on. Just let me see what happens when the boiler goes off. It should be going off in a couple of minutes, Bill. 
All right. So what else is up? Nothing, man. I just been uh I got uh do you know Ori Spado? Spado? No, Ori, I don't know. I see him on Facebook. I'm friends with him on Facebook. Yeah, I'm supposed supposed to do a show with him later on. Oh yeah. He'll see how that goes. Good. Oh, it should go good, especially if you talk about Michael. That'll really go good. Yeah, he's a character, huh, Ori? <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Well, Michael said in one of his interviews that he didn't like Ori. Yeah, Ori don't like no. him either. Huh? I'm a, I'll probably get into some shit with him about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah so, I uh, I... I the that lady from Vlad hit me back and she said she'll call you. Okay. And she thanked me for giving you giving her the number. All right. Now where is where is this guy filmed from? Uh New York City somewhere. Oh, okay, good. Good. I can even yeah, he, the studio. Can yeah, he there. he has a studio in New York, he has one in LA, and there's one in Miami. Yeah, of course. Uh, Michael, I think, is in L.A., I think. Yeah, yeah. Michael's in L.A. somewhere. So, yeah, so he was doing that studio over there. Is I'm telling you, man, once you once you get on, I said to her, I said, I'm I'm uh, I'm contacting you in regards to Anthony Ramundi. I said, I think you should interview him. He has a really good story, and I'm not the only one that thinks that. I made it good, man. Yeah. And she said, she said, thank you so much for sending me this information. I'll definitely get in contact with them. And I gave her your number. Did you tell so, her what I was saying about Michael? No. Once once you talk to her, you could tell her all that shit. Because I'm sure they'll love the controversy. Oh, okay. Listen, once I talk to them and I tell them about Michael, what he was lying in a lot of the stories, they might not even put me on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. You know that would be all, That would be good if they did, though. That would be awesome. Him. A lot of people I know they emailed him. Yeah, you know, or they emailed that TV, and then a lot of them wrote me back. They said this guy's in bed with Michael. That's why he's not getting back to you because they don't want the truth to come out. Yeah. If they don't call you, man, within like a week. I would figure something's up. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. without a doubt. Because they, they have every uh, they have every chance to, like, set the record straight with shit, you know? Yeah. I set the record straight about a lot of stuff. But Damn, you know, is that me? <laughs> Did the boiler go off? No, it's still on. I don't know, on. man. It sounds like shit. Bad. I know. Just, just, just give it a couple more minutes. If not, then we'll, we'll see what we got to do. We'll do something else. Yeah, we could try later or something. If it doesn't work. No, no we can finish up now, but I'll, I'll, I'll try to move to another part of the house. That's what yeah, or whatever. Do. So, just give, give me about like five minutes. and Hopefully this thing will be off. Because it has to heat it. Once it hits a certain temperature in the house, then the boiler goes off. Yeah. It shuts down. And then once it yeah, gets cold again, it gets back up again. Yeah. That's how mine is. It, it's got, like, my mother's yeah. house got, it, like, kicks on. Burn. Fucking pushed his air throughout the whole house. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the forced air. Yeah, she's got the old school shit, you know? You got the baseboard? With the, with the yeah, with the grates and the baseboard, it pumps the air out. Forced air. If you got if you got the opening grates in the wall, that's forced air. Otherwise, yeah, you got the baseboard that's around the floor. Now we got yeah, we got the one that pushes the air out. All right, you got yeah, you got forced air. It's called. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, there's a. Oh, yeah. Spain and uh, Michael Francis will not get along at all. Yeah, so it'll be yeah. good, man. Yeah, he said I that uh, every everything everything Michael got from it was from his father. 
He had everything from his father. Yeah, all the respect, his everything. Father, his father told him to give it to them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They set him up with. They set him up with everything. That's not so even his real kid. Him. Huh? That wasn't even his real son. No, from what I heard, Michael was his stepson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't even know Sonny that. Adopted Sonny adopted him, though, when he was a baby. Yeah. So you know? people are going to have respect for him because of Sonny. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, with Michael, like I said, he would never got. He wouldn't even even got made if it wasn't for his father. Yeah. You know. No, I he, could he see that. Like he this on his own. No. Yeah. He, he, he did not do all this on his own. No fuck away. He didn't do shit on his own, no. Everything no, what I mean once it was handed to him, then he put it together. You understand? I mean it was already together. Then he ran. I mean yeah. when he ran something, he ran together. But he didn't start it. You know what I'm saying? He didn't start all this stuff. I mean he talked about so much stuff that in, in one of the videos I seen not too long ago, he's talking about how the Cubans were big drug dealers, and he was dealing with the Colombians. He knew them as friends. They were all over Miami and this and that, and what was going on. And then he's talking about the Kennedy killing. How his yeah, he's saying he's saying that we got Kennedy. We took care of him. Who the? Listen to me. First of all, he didn't do a fucking thing for Kennedy. That's number one. That's number yeah. one. He didn't do a goddamn fucking thing. Kennedy got killed in 1963. So Michael was about 13. So what the fuck is he claiming he done? With yeah, or, or knows. He they wouldn't he wouldn't know shit. Listen, what I said was that when Kennedy got it, he got it from like two different directions. Yeah. That's what I was told. And that's through my contact with the guy that I was in the Marines with. Yeah. Because one guy did not do that. No. One guy did not do that. Especially when you had a bullet coming from behind. One guy yeah, it, said, that. it says you could even see it where he's getting shot. You could see his head going the a different direction. Shot, the second shot and the third shot. There was three shots that went off. Yeah. yeah. And like I said, too, I don't believe Lee Harvey Oswald died either because I'll tell you why. If you put up the pictures on Lee Harvey Oswald when he got shot, look at them real good. They're black and white. And one of them, it looks like he's posing. He goes like this. Who the fuck goes like this if you get shot in the stomach? Now, yeah. if you get shot in the stomach, that's a bleeder. It was a black and white picture. He had a dark sweater. But you would see wet marks on the tea, on the sweater. You yeah. see wet marks. You didn't see nothing. Then he's laying down on the gurney with one arm hanging out. I don't know, like he's tired. They, no way. I don't believe it. I don't believe that they killed him. I think that was just a setup. Make it look like they killed him and they sent him someplace else to live. You think so? That's my opinion. Because, also, how did Jack Ruby get in there to FBI? He had FBI, marshals, detectives, cop, and he got in there to get close enough to Oswald to put a, and he shot him with a 38. Yeah, now, thirty-eight and a guy as big as Lee Harvey Oswald. Number one, he should be dead. All right. In other words, he should have died right there on the spot. Number two, it's a bleeder. When you get hit in the stomach like that, you fucking bleed as if somebody gutted you. Yeah. You're none of that. Look yeah. at the pictures of Lee Harvey Oswald. You see the way he went. Like when he first got shot, one arm goes across the stomach, the other arm goes up with his head. He's like this. Oh, like that. Nobody yeah. I even know that shot like that did that. Nobody. <laughs> I don't know anybody that ever got shot and, and, and did anything like that. And then they get a guy on a stretcher, taking him into the ambulance. He's got one arm hanging off with a sheet over him. I think there were some stains on the sheet that they might have put on there. Either there wasn't, there wasn't. Meanwhile, no IV going into his arm, no oxygen on him, no nothing. First thing they do with a gunshot. I wound if they open up your vein, they put an IV in you to give you oxygen. And they strip your clothes off you. By the way, they rip all that off you while they do it. They cut it off you. 
Nothing like that happened with him. So, uh, like I said, it's uh, yeah, it's weird. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a weird thing. He said that's his that's his death photo. Yeah, well, you know what it is? You can make anybody look like that. You know what I'm trying to say? I don't see any bullet wound in his stomach either. Do you? Pull up another shot where you seen him where he got shot when he was wearing the sweater. All right, hold on. I put my reading glasses on so I can see the picture better. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got it. Hold on. And then uh, you see, see what I'm talking about. There's blood on this picture where he's laying on the gurney. Hold on. Yeah. That one was, I thought one of them, they had stains on there. was on hanging off. Here, look at this picture. Didn't come up yet. See the no. blood right here? Is that blood? Where? See where the poker is? Where the who? See where my index thing is? It's blood right there, right? No, I don't see where your index thing is over here. Hold on. Let me see if I can make no. this thing big. Okay. I'm making it bigger now. He's got his arm hanging off. They got him. There's his head. Right, where's the blood now? You're talking about right where the white is? Yeah. Right under it? Here's okay. the picture of him yeah, getting shot. Yeah. Here, I got the picture of him right getting now. shot, too. Go to stand it up. Go to I got it right here. All right, I get it. I'm getting it right now. All right. There it is. All right. You can take a look at that. Nobody put, nobody goes like that when they get shot. <laughs> All right. The boy went over. All, All right. right. All right. The boy okay. went off. Okay. It's going pretty good, right? Yeah. It's still staticky. I know. I don't know.